Mere mortals, like you and I, can understand how the universe works. This was realized long before the Vikings, in ancient Greece. In about 300 BC, a philosopher called Aristarchus was fascinated by eclipses too, especially eclipses of the moon. He was brave enough to question whether they really were caused by gods. Aristarchus was a true scientific pioneer. He studied the heavens carefully and reached a bold conclusion. He realized the eclipse was actually the shadow of the Earth passing over the moon and not a divine event. Liberated by this discovery, he was able to work out what was really going on above his head and draw diagrams that showed the true relationship of the sun, the earth, and the moon. From there, he reached even more remarkable conclusions. He deduced that the earth was not the center of the universe as everyone had thought but instead orbits the sun. In fact, understanding this arrangement explains all eclipses. When the moon casts its shadow on the Earth, that's a solar eclipse. And when the Earth shades the moon, that's a lunar eclipse. But Aristarchus took it even further. He suggested the stars were not chinks in the floor of heaven, as his contemporaries believed, but that stars were other suns like ours, only a very long way away. What a stunning realization it must have been. The universe is a machine governed by principles or laws, laws that can be understood by the human mind. I believe the discovery of these laws has been humankind's greatest achievement. For it's these laws of nature, as we now call them, that will tell us whether we need a god to explain the universe at all.